Hey everyone, it's me, Nathan from Nathan's Way. In this video, oh, I am doing another self-love check-in. It's the 14th of the month, and I've dedicated the 14th to basically giving you self-love updates and see, show you where I'm at. Now, with me is that I am always looking to improve myself. I'm always looking to evolve and move forward. And self-love has seemed to be the Achilles heel from internal dialogue to some of my actions, some of my habits. It's always been hard. And so here's what I'm looking at. So from last 14th to this 14th, it seemed to be it has it was like a roller coaster some days were good where i formed really habits for a stretch uh a length of time and then all of a sudden they would break and then it, it, it's really hard so let's talk about it for a while i was drinking a gallon of water a day i was really looking after myself walking and walking uh 5,000 steps a day and really going forth and going really all in on my habits and then when stress happens and when and I'm when the internal dialogue starts spinning in a negative direction I have found that I fell off the wagon and it's okay. The The thing is, is to reset, do the reset button. I always like this reset on a Monday or the first of a month. But <laughs> that is probably just us um, pushing it off to another day. But it's something that I always try to do. And this Monday kind of went... Ugh. So... Hopefully eh, next Monday it will be better. But I'm not going to wait until next Monday to go and start something. I'm going to do it today and rebuild and reinforce. But uh, when it comes to Monday, it's like a new slate. That's what I do. Um, now, when... It comes to internal dialogue that has been hitting me hard lately I've been using escapism escapism with audiobooks to really like not like to turn off the internal dialogue but it's kind of hard depending on the book as well I listen to a lot of audiobooks audiobooks that make me feel good that have really wonderful that have really wonderful storylines and that just make me feel good about myself and I've been using that as a way to turn off the inner dialogue because when I'm I am listening to an audiobook or when I'm preoccupying my self with these escapism tools I find that I'm focused so much on the story or what's been going on that my negative thoughts and my negative inner dialogue isn't as prominent. Now, another thing that has to do with internal dialogue is your external life, who you interact with, who you're dealing with. And I'm stuck in a situation where I can't surround myself with the people I want or the people I need to see or just people who who build me up. I love my family. <laughs> I truly do. But sometimes Ames it gets to a point where it's like, okay, I I need to get out. I need time to myself. And thankfully the fourteenth I always seem to have the 14th of every month I always seem to have to myself and it's wonderful it feels so good so 
how do I fix these broken patterns? How do I fix missing a gallon of water a day or whatnot? Well, for me, it's when it comes to a gallon of water a day, the where it breaks down is the vessel. I always have a gallon jug. And if it's not emptied by a certain time, I get discouraged. And if it's not refilled for the next day, I always get discouraged. I know that I, I met my goal when I empty that jug. And it just feels so good. And I reuse the same jug. Uh, so I'm not wasting plastic. But it gets to the point where... Where when you don't finish it, you just put it off for another hour. You put it off for another hour and, until you wake up the next day and you still have that water. So you finish it quickly so you can fill fill it and then it goes on till the next day. Now, I shouldn't be that hard on myself because at least I do finish it. At least I finish it within a time frame and... I can still count a gallon, but it's not a gallon a day, which I like to do. It's just a little thing. And then when it comes to walking or getting those 5,000 5, steps in, it's when it rains or the weather's not good, I don't have a treadmill or anything I can do. And that's also kind of discouraging because you walk 5,000 a day, and it's rough. I mean, I I can only walk back and forth in a house or in a space for so long before someone says, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and, yeah, so... So, with internal dialogue, how have I been fighting back Fighting back those negative, disgusting, and just self-doubting feelings or self-inflicting feelings. Well, I have created a term of endearment for myself where I'm like, like, okay, no, you're going down this wrong thought pattern. It's okay. You're going to be okay. And it's like I'm talking to my past self when I say this. Like, because I, I, this past month from the 14th to the 14th, I have felt that there's a lot of healing I still need to do from past traumas, from my past self. And I feel like with this specific term of endearment that I'm using, and I'm not going to tell anyone that's what I say. That is mine and mine alone. That is my tool. And I don't feel comfortable sharing that, which is okay. But I use this term of endearment and it strikes a chord. And it kind of time travels back in time to... Ooh, the, where those triggers or where those feelings have rooted from. Like, it could be something from a bad experience, and, and I have the sense of it. Like, um, like, those triggers, like smell, feel, touch, thought, or saying, or verbal, those triggers. And when I see one of those triggers, or when I, I feel it, it's... I have noticed a lot more where it's stemming from. And so when I say this term of endearment, it's like it's going back in time and saying, it's okay, you're safe, you're good. Um, I also find it in certain laundry soaps, the smell can trigger a thought pattern. Um, a... A song can trigger a thought pattern and breaking those habits is 
in reassuring your pet self that you are okay. I feel it has been doing me really well. So I'm going to keep with that. And fighting, fighting back the emotion or the feelings that, that say you deserve this trigger or you deserve this nasty feeling you have or you deserve this hurt. Fighting that has been really difficult but I feel like the more the the further the little steps I go further the more it's going to help I know I should probably be discussing all this in therapy but again it's therapy is not on the table at the moment and I wish it was but unfortunately it, it's it's not going to happen um but yeah so that is my self-loving my uh, self-love check-in I hope you got maybe something out of this and you you it has helped you or maybe it has made you think more about your personal self-love journey and so I wanted to share that and yeah if you like more videos like this please consider liking subscribing and hitting that little notifications bell down below oh to get more content and like this and thank you so much for coming along my journey with me this is my way nathan's way bye